Sweatshirt Dolls, what's up? So it is me again, as you know, Jesse. Hey, what's up? Hi. Anyways, um, so we are back again with another Inside the Dressing Room. Today is going to be Torrid. This one, I mean, first of all, let me just address the fact that apparently I just randomly like to do Inside the Dressing Room videos when I don't have my camera on me, so I get them done with my phone. So the quality is not, you know, A+, plus. so please forgive that. Other than that, moving on. So if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I have lost quite a bit of weight, depending on what you consider quite a bit of weight. I've lost uh, over 60 pounds. I did uh, what I eat in a day video. I am planning on doing an updated one. But anyways, if you want to know all about that, just click the link above um, in the cards and then it'll be down in the description too. And you can kind of see a little bit of what my diet and those kinds of things are. But anyways, the topic of this video is to do an inside the dressing room at Torrid. I haven't worn Torrid jeans, purchased Torrid jeans in a hot minute. For one, no, like, they're just fucking expensive. Like, let's just be real. They're fucking expensive. And for two, because like I said, I've been losing weight, I'm not really a fan of like putting out the money just to have them be too big for me in a month. I kind of ran into this issue with my last Inside the Dressing Room that I did at Rue 21, which you guys can watch up there in the cards and down in the description, I guess, too. But anyways, so the jeans that I bought when I did that Inside the Dressing Room are now a little too big for me, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should if you're not already. So the pants that I bought there are now too big for me, <laughs> which is, I guess, a happy problem to have, but at the same time, we gotta figure this out. So I thought that it'd be really cool to go inside Torrid, not only check out what they have, but also see what size I actually wear. And also if you wanna know my measurements and sizing, all that kind of stuff, that'll be in the description. Everything that I try on is gonna be linked in the description, so go check that out if you're interested. Just for curiosity's sake, let's see how Torrid fits me now, and also to give you guys an idea of if you're on the same path, or you're relatively the same size and shape, what these clothes might look for you. Look on you. For you whatever I think you get it you know how inside the dressing room work anyways let's get started see you guys there fun fact I forgot to mention when I did used to shop regularly at Torrid I was like maxing out their size range that was before they extended it to I think a 30 or 32 so yeah when they were just at like a 26 28 that's what I used to wear so I'm curious to see what I wear now As per usual, I know that there's gonna be um, like talking and things like that and noises within this, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this video. So sorry about that. On to the voiceover me. So as always, before we get into what we're gonna be trying on in Torrid, let's talk about what I'm wearing right now. So pretty much this entire outfit is all Rue 21. These are the jeans I was talking about, about how I tried them on my last Inside the Dressing Room at Rue, and these are a size 24, and now they are like, gigantic do you see this this is madness dude this is also a prime example as to why i don't want to put out the expense to buy new pants and then a month later have my whole arm be able to fit in the pants with me i'm also wearing a crop top sweater that is also from rue 21 and then just a raggedy old tank top underneath but if you want to see that shopping haul go ahead and click the link above today we're going to be trying on a bunch of things from torrid as you can see i grabbed a bunch of varieties of everything from skirts, tops, a bikini, and then a bunch of different sizes of jeans because like I said, I don't know what size I am right now. This first outfit I have on right now was kind of surprising. First of all, these pants are a size 22. I tried my best to grab a bunch of different styles of pants and these ones in particular don't have any stretch in them or very minimal stretch. So as you can see, when I lift up the shirt, I am muffin topping pretty bad. So I would say that I am not a size 22. <laughs> um, I will be one day though, one day soon I will be. But for right now, I'm pretty sure I'm closer to a 24, at least when it comes to non-stretch type jeans as like these. There's a three button enclosure on these jeans and I just have to tell you that first button all the way at the bottom was the devil. Even when the pants weren't even on, trying to get that button out of that little hole, it was not having it. You could see that the buttons don't really line up straight because that bottom button was like possessed by the devil or something. It was just not having it. 
But other than that, like, I feel like these pants made my butt look, like, so cute and perky and all the good things. I'm getting more into distressed jeans, which was never a thing for me, but I kind of dig it. So other than them being a bit tight and having zero stretch or damn near zero stretch, I'd say that these were pretty freaking comfortable. I didn't feel restricted at all. I just knew that they were a bit tight on the waist. Everywhere else fit super comfortably. And all of the pants pockets were fully functioning. You can put your hand in every one of those pockets. It wasn't like one of those faux pockets that drive me absolutely bonkers. Like, no, they all work. Thank the Lord. So now let's talk about this top. So this is, I believe they call this print gingham, and this is in a size 2. At my heaviest, I, when I wanted it to be loose fitting, wore a size 5. Um, regularly I was about a 3 if I wanted it to be fitted. So this is kind of cool to be in a size 2 and have it be super flowy. I really love the top detail where it's like a little tied knot into this ring. It was just cute and a little bit different and super comfortable and it completely hid the fact that I was muffin topping out of those pants a little bit. I really recommend this top if you have the issue with feeling a little tight in your jeans. This top definitely helps concealing that issue. Also excuse the bra that I'm wearing. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Adore Me. If you want to see that haul, click the link above. Anyways, moving on. Um, this top was super super cute and not only does the print help camouflage any flaws I guess you would call it the cut itself is very flattering it's super flowy and you could see on the hip it kind of goes up a little bit on the sides and it's just really cute and flattering and simple and perfect for the spring at least I think so it just it it says picnic to me if this was red, I wouldn't wear it because I'd look like a picnic top, but since it's not red, do you, boo-boo. So this outfit was a bit confusing for me, mostly because of the top, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, let's talk about these jeans. So these jeans are in a size 24. They do have a bit of stretch to them, so I could have sized them down to a 22. If they didn't have any stretch, then it'd be a different story, but seeing as how they do... I could have sized down a little bit. I'm learning so much about mostly torrid jeans actually or jeans in general but these are 24 regular. I probably should have picked it up in short because I'm 5'5 and with their jeans I tend to need short as opposed to regular. Otherwise they bunch up quite a bit at the ankle which you can kind of see there's a lot of fabric going on right there. And again I'm 5'5 so I'm not that tall, not that short. I don't know. I thought I was short, but then you guys were like, 5'5 five, five is tall, so I don't know what the hell I am. But apparently, when it comes to torrid jeans, I'm short. Overall, though, I love the dark wash on these jeans. They were really comfortable, and I can move around quite a bit. All of the pockets were fully functioning, and I really don't have any negatives to say about these jeans, except that I probably should have gotten them in maybe a size smaller and in short. So about this top, I told you guys that it was kind of confusing and that's because this is a size 3. As far as I know this is made with the same material as that first shirt was and the thing that I thought was confusing is that this was a size 3 and it's a little bit more fitted than that size 2. So I don't know if it's that torrid sizing is all over the place or if my body shape is just confusing the shit out of me or what it is. If you guys have that same issue, please let me know because I'm lost. <laughs> so this is a ladybug print all over this top. As you can see, it's pretty sheer and the cut of it, I like it. I do get a lot of flowy feel to it. It's not super fitted but it wasn't as flowy as a size 2 and I think that's what was so confusing to me. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys have that that issue where the sizing is inconsistent for you guys, let me know because I'm lost. So on this top there is a pocket on the left breast and on the back 
is buttoned all the way down. I thought that was a really cute detail. It was really comfortable and flowy, but again, not as flowy as a size 2, even though this is a size 3. I don't know, man. I don't know. Explain that to me, somebody. Because like I said, it's the same flowy material. I don't, uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody, Torrid, help me out. I'm confused. But other than my confusion on the sizing, I thought this was a really, really really cute blouse. I like the buttons down the back and I like that it kind of parted at the bottom because it was buttoned all the way down. And this is me kind of shaking around and you know doing the damn thing so you could see that I was really comfortable and I got a lot of movement in these two pieces. I saw this jacket in the clearance and I decided to swoop up on it. It's in a size 3 and oh my goodness, it is flippin' expensive. I don't think it's actually on clearance, but it was cool. This is flippin' cute. Like, it's one of those sequent details where if you brush against it one direction, it turns into a different color and it alternates between like a copper gold to a black. And it was just really pretty and actually super comfortable. The thing that kind of sucked is that it didn't have pockets, but I think that's kind of understandable with this type of material. I think I'm just used to jackets or pockets on everything, so I just assumed that it would, and then when it didn't, I was like, wah, wah. I think I have a thing for those varsity style bomber jackets. I guess they're my thing. I don't know. I just really liked it. Plus the sleeves on it, the gold lining actually has some glitter to it, so it goes with it. It's just a standout piece that was super comfortable. The lining of it was pretty stretchy, as you can see, but then the material, the sequin part of it, didn't really have much stretch to it at all. It had enough room in it that I could wear it comfortably zipped up and unzipped, but as you know, I think it looks better with it unzipped, but it was just really cute, so. No real complaints except for the fact that it has no pockets and it's fucking expensive, but like I told you, Torrid is just expensive in general. So with this next pair of pants, I decided just to put on my cropped sweater with it. Ignore that part. I just wanted you to see how these pants fit on their own without me having to adjust a t-shirt. So these are in a size 22 short. As you can see, these fit perfectly. These pants do have stretch to them. Um, I believe these are more of a jegging. I'm not 100% sure. But all of the pockets completely functional. I think we're getting away from the faux pocket bullshit that apparently was popular for a while. I don't know why, because it just annoyed the shit out of me. But these even have some room in, in them, which is also why this whole what size am I thing is so confusing to me. Because it's like, okay, so I'm a size 24 when there's no stretch, a size 22 when there is set stretch. A size 20 if it's high rise it's just yeah no it's it's a bit much and it's new to me cuz when I was bigger I just used to be like yeah just pick whatever the biggest size is and that will be the one that I use but I guess that's not my standard anymore and I wear like three different size pants it's kind of insane anyways back to these I believe these are their black skinny jeggings um, they were fucking perfect to be honest and they still had some room in them uh, the only reason I didn't get them is back to the whole idea of being on a weight loss journey I'm not gonna put out the money just to not fit in them the next time or them be too big I mean but I wanted to do a little dance sequence for you guys so you could see how much movement I get in there and that I'm comfortable in them enough to shake it around and you know do the damn thing but yeah, so these are a go for me. If I were actually in the market to buy new pants, these would be coming home with me. So this is the point in the try-on where I realize, holy shit, there is a fan in the dressing room. I mean, I saw the fan in there, but I didn't know that I have the controls to make it work myself. So yes, crank that fan oh, and answer the text and move on with the rest of the try-on. <laughs> This skirt was everything. It was glorious and flowy and beautiful. Oh my god, I loved it. The color, the print, the cut of it, the way it flowed. I just loved it. It's a high-low cut in a size 3. Oh, let me rip off them socks though because it's looking janky with the skirt. Okay, 
here we go. So back to the skirt. It is so flowy. Oh my God, I couldn't get over it. I tried in every angle that I could to show you guys just how flowy and gorgeous this freaking skirt was. It fit phenomenally. It was a little long in back and I didn't really want to pull it up any higher. I guess I could have sized down and saw how that worked out, but obviously I did not do that. So the front of it doesn't have any stretch, but once it hits the side, it starts going into more of an elastic stretch in the back. And that's where it starts going into the length in the back too. So just keep that in mind if that's an issue for you, if you prefer stretch to be all around or how you usually like it. But it seemed to work perfectly for me in this skirt. Yeah, it was just super flowy. You could wear it with like how I'm wearing it with just a black tank top. You can wear it with a crop top. A bathing suit top I mean do you boo boo the sun's coming out so do what you're gonna do but I just I just fucking love the skirt I can totally picture this with like some black wedges and just spinning around and dancing and trying not to break my ankle it sounds like a glorious time to me <laughs> when I saw this dress I was like let's take a shot in the dark and try on a size 2 dress uh a wow First of all, flipping cute. This is perfection for like a springtime brunch or summertime at the beach or something. Like this just is awesome. And also like, I used to wear like a size four dress. So this is pretty freaking exciting. I thought the stomach was gonna be super tight, but no, it's not. It's really flowy and forgiving and just like I have so much room. The top itself is a different type of cut than I'm used to, but I'm not mad at it. So the top part of the dress is really super stretchy. The whole thing is just a stretch. I don't know if you're able to see it on camera very well, but it has like a slight ruffling on top, which I thought was just an adorable little detail. And then it comes up a little bit on top. So if you have a full bust, then you've got enough room for the girls. And if you're a little smaller, the top will compress to fit your bust. So you're not going to have this just like extra amount of fabric. You'll be in just perfect, I think. But I just thought, once again, confused with the whole sizing thing. What size am I if a two fits perfectly and a three fits a little snug? Like, how does that make sense? Whatever. I don't know. I think for the time being, I'm just going to have to rely on measurements. I really did love how flowy this dress was, though. And the straps on them, again, can be adjusted just like bra straps. So that's pretty cool. You can either raise the bust up a little higher or a little lower, depending on your comfort zone, too. So it's pretty adjustable and moldable to especially your bust. That's like the major thing. It's super moldable, I guess. Is that the word? I don't know. It's conforming, all right, and cute. So why not? <laughs> I feel like the only thing that would make this dress better is if it came with pockets, but pockets make everything better. Anyways, moving on. We're trying on the bikinis, and this one is freaking cute. I posted a picture of myself in this one on Instagram, and everybody was like, losing their mind over it. I really love the print on this top and bottom, obviously. This is in a size three, both the top and bottom are in a size three. And the top have removable push-up pads, which honestly I probably would remove because they were kind of shoving my boobs up out of the cup. Another cool thing with this whole weight loss deal is when I was doing my first bikini try-on inside Torrid, I was talking to you guys about that little under boob fat area and though it's not completely gone they have definitely gotten smaller as hopefully you can tell um, but anyways moving on to the actual bikini this print is gorgeous I feel like it is just super flattering and supportive the bottoms are high rise so you don't have to worry about it being really low on the stomach and you kind of fallen out over the day. I believe that the straps are adjustable so that not only can you adjust the length on them, but you can also make it to where it's not crisscross. I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then the back has the little hook enclosure, so it's not like a bra enclosure like some of the other ones. But the top and the bottom pretty much connect in the back, which I don't have a problem with, but I just wanted to make a little mental note to you guys about that. 
This floral is just, I can't get over how freaking gorgeous the floral print is and that like mustard yellow. It just, you know what? I'm digging it. The bottoms were a little loose. I probably could have sized down in those just because of how stretchy they are. Uh, whereas the top I definitely had to stay in a three because of how fitted it is and that probably has something to do with the push-up pads in the cups um, the bottom does have a bit of ruching too so that's kind of cute and flattering not much I could say bad about this bathing suit it was pretty comfortable and super supportive I didn't feel like anything was flopping around or getting crazy and of course here is my usual, you know, get down with your bad self movement to show you guys how much movement and comfortability you get in these items. So yeah, I'd have to say A plus on these. If I was actually shopping for a bathing suit, I would have, I definitely would have snagged this one. All right, guys. So we made it to the end of the video. And per what seems to be usual of my inside the dressing rooms, I literally bought nothing of what I tried on. One, because like I said, I'm losing weight, so why put out the, I mean, let's be real, astronomical amount that they're asking for <laughs> if I'm not gonna fit in it next month. So yeah, I didn't buy anything from there. It was pretty fucking awesome to see that I fit in a size 22. I tried to try on as many different types of material as possible as far as the pants went. I did try on some jeggings like you saw, which jeggings have a little bit more stretch than regular pants. So I made sure to pick out some pants that were more of like a boyfriend cut where they don't have very much stretch at all. Overall, I was really pleasantly surprised with the fit of everything. Um, I don't know, seeing change in your body when you haven't in years is just exciting. That was pretty awesome. I hope that you enjoyed uh, the inside of the dressing room and what I tried on and hopefully I helped you guys get an idea of what might work for you and if you did see something that you liked, like I said earlier, it'll be linked down in the description so go check it out. I didn't end up buying anything there but I did end up going to Forever 21. Isn't that funny? In my Forever 21 inside the dressing room, I actually ended up buying something from Torrid and then at my Torrid inside the dressing room, I bought something from Forever 21. Anyways, when I went to Forever 21 last time, I wanted to look at their little home decor area because that shit is fucking cute. Though they did have this one tote bag that says, don't follow your dreams, follow me on IG. Like the fuck? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I mean, go for it, but don't follow your dreams. I don't know about all that. Anyways, so this time I had some time to spare and I decided to go check out their home, de home decor, home decor area. And it's a good thing that I did because they had a bunch of stuff on clearance and then they had an additional 50% off clearance. So the prices that you see on these things is not the price that I actually ended up spending. The first thing that started the, the spiral down into actually spending money today was this little tassel right here. It is iridescent and beautiful. I don't know, there we go. There it is, iridescent and beautiful and gorgeous. And it was on sale for a dollar. So I thought this was super cute, why not? These little uh, hangers, they were originally $8. This is a, a 12 pack of like teal colored, like minty colored felt velvety hangers and I've been, I usually keep all of my clothes in my dresser and Cody gets the closet, but I decided to start putting my dresses in the closet and your girl is like, I don't know. I've been, I've been getting sent a bunch of clothes, which thank you, I'm grateful. But at the same time, now I have too many fucking clothes and so I need hangers for them. So I'm not gonna steal Cody's hangers anymore. Got my own, I'm a grown up now go me. Now the rest of this is picture frames and pictures. <laughs> so there's my filming area that I started filming in and I really like it. I tried to make it like a gallery wall and then shit just went haywire and so I need to kind of sort that out and organize it and one of the things of organizing it is I need to get some picture frames for some of the pictures. So I picked out these two beauties right here. These are two picture frames. One is a rose gold and it has like, I don't even know how to describe that. The 
lining of it the frame decor blah blah blah. both of them are like that but it shows better in this one the rose gold and then I got this black one um, both were originally seven dollars they were on sale for five bucks but again I didn't actually spend five bucks technically I spent five bucks for both of them so there's that and then the last thing that I got originally five bucks on sale for three again that's not how much I spent but it's this picture right here and it says good things take time I thought that was perfect especially for me and what I'm going through and my changes and everything sometimes I get hard on myself about how the weight's not coming off fast enough and I'll compare myself to other people who have you know gone on the same journey and their progress and everything and I, I think to myself man I should be further along so this is hopefully gonna be the reminder to bitch slow shit down good things take time and just be grateful for what you've accomplished thus far so that's what I've got hopefully you guys will see this in the background of a future video speaking of future videos fashion nova curve hit your girl up and so i'm going to be doing a fashion nova curve haul coming up soon i haven't filmed it yet but i'm going to be doing that next week and um then it should be up to you guys up for you guys some point in march which is also when i'm going to be finishing up work on the merchandise on the t-shirts and hoodies and whatnot even though i probably shouldn't even put out hoodies even if, i mean it's only getting warmer so hoodies should i even bother let me know and so the grand total for this picture frame those two other picture frames the hanger and the keychain was ten dollars and 26 cents not too damn bad right everything that's featured in this video is going to be linked down below so keep an eye out i'll have like a separate little segment for my forever 21 purchases down there you'll see it along with my measurements sizing everything else that i shop for blah 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 you get it that's it for this video keep an eye out for my fashion nova curve video coming up soon and merch heading your way how freaking exciting guys you don't know how flipping cute it's gonna be but it's gonna be cute Anyways, thank you for joining me in this Inside the Dressing Room. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself and you got a little bit of information for your cute little butt. Okay, I need to go. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Remember to follow me on all my social media, which is linked down below. Snapchat is kind of dropping the damn ball ever since the update, so I suggest you follow me on Instagram because I'm keeping up on my stories a lot more now. And of course, that is it. I will see you guys next time. And remember, until next time, if they ain't paying your bills, pay them no mind. Check you later.